yeah. I'm so broken, broken, broken hearted. Alright, what's up YouTube? Back at you with more junk. I'm the Audi guy, and this time we're working on my D4. Last time we did some D3 stuff. I know most of you know. I have a TGK drop box in my A8L TDI. One of the things he sent me was these lowering links. I have my suspension already modified with VCDS or OBD11, so my ride heights are a little different anyway. The important part of this video is there are people who uploaded them having links installed in their cars, but they didn't do it themselves. So that'll be the key point of this video i also want you guys to meet my new dog he's eight months this is uh i think a staffordshire bull terrier his name is rowdy or roddy depending on how you pronounce audi so to my understanding you measure these to the length of the original links and then you make them five millimeters shorter so we're gonna do that and see what happens all alone my soda when and departed Smoke this, soak this, oh shit, can I be honest? I lost all hope, all I can see is darkness But regardless, I'm harnessing all of the fire Yeah, this is some arson, it's from a Martian You slap through my strip, then I hope you're proceeding with caution On my way Boston, plotting on how I'm gonna drip When I sell out the garden, begging your party I just be kicking shit, baby, I live like a Spartan Say we got it jumping, yeah, we got it jumping And we got a Martian, hey Obviously, since we're putting the car in the air, we go over here, car systems, servicing and checks, and then we go to tire change on. All right, guys, so I already have one link off. This is the passenger side. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, you might already know, but it's just a plastic clip and there's no retaining. There's no retaining clips in here, so they just pop off. So I'm going to try and I'm sorry, I don't have my stabilizer, so this is going to be shaky, but I'm going to try and remove this one. There you go. I have my old link next to the tape measure next to my new link. Obviously, when you measure these, you want to go center to center because the pin obviously clicks into the middle of that. So you want to go. That's really where it's going to mount. You can see it's just about three and a half inches. That is the length of the OEM link. And I have my new link here next to it measured out the same same length. And we're going to drop the new links down to three in three-eighths. Lowering links shorten to three and three eighths of an inch. As you can see, again, the original ones are three and a half because I'm measuring center of the hole. Also, just uh, another handy tip these new lowering links have like a cotter pin, not really, but a pin style. So before you put them in, get a like a, uh, a pick um, and just pull out the, the ring. And then once it's in the slot, you pop it back in. rear links are a different size than the front which is why i didn't go ahead and adjust them all prematurely so the front ones are three and a half the rear ones are three and five eighths which means that these will actually get shortened 
to the same length as the fronts. So the fronts were three and a half, now they're three and three eighths. The rear are three and five eighths, now they're gonna be three and a half. Thank God I'm almost done because it's just starting to rain the slightest bit. Yeah, what do you think, buddy? We're almost done. We're almost done, buddy. TGK Motorsports lowering links installed. This is the new ride height. This is in individual. This isn't comfort. It still is a little lower in comfort too, but it looks way better. I like it. So broken, broken, broken hearted All alone, my soul done went and departed Smoke this, soak this, oh shit, can I be honest? I lost all hope, all I can see is darkness But regardless, I'm harnessing all of the fire Yeah, this is some arson, bitch, I'm a Martian You slide through my strip and I'll This is the part of the video where I'd like to make a small note I've done things here a little bit backwards I know usually people get lowering links first because they're cheaper and then they'll alter their ride height through the lowering links. The point of this is the company that I have my drop box from, TGK Motorsport run by Tyler. He sent me these lowering links from a C7 and at the time we were strictly testing to see whether it would work and I'm glad to say that it does. And I'd also like to make a note, I don't know if you have lowering links first, you might experience this already, but my ride quality is significantly better. The dampening of the car feels like it's totally tuned to handle the weight of the car with the bumps that it's taking, and I'm not sure if the lowering links have anything to do with that, but they make a huge difference. <laughs> 